with a bit of a delay today, we're back for more Mystery of the Emblem. When we last left off, we had that map where Abel and Rad died. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty bad. Rad's death was kind of expected. Abel dying to the 19 attack arena was less expected, but hey, let's just continue. Hopefully I don't lose anyone else this time. I'm probably never touching the arena again, but hey. <laughs> After accepting Katri's request, Prince Marth headed to rescue the captive Princess Maria of Macedonia. And so, decided to mount an attack on Dale Prison. Within the Allied army, many suggested it was a trap set by General Minerva. But Prince Marth believed that in the Battle of Lek with Kandev, he saw a gentle woman. And it wasn't the fearful enemy that everybody described. That person had the same expression as his elder sister. Okay, we already saw this part last time. Yeah, we know. Marth was Arthur's happy. Or something. Hello, welcome back. Alright. So, I think, yeah, last time we didn't choose any units. But we have quite a lot here. There's a few chests as well. Chests are also interesting because Marth gets to. Ooh, speed ring. Marth gets to uh, open the chest now as well. We have some stuff over here fort, shop, shop, house. No arena, but that's good because I don't want to touch that shit. There's also a house here. No villages we have to visit this time. I'm assuming it is a seas, as usual. Doesn't really say, does it? Probably a seas. They've all been seas so far. Uh, let's go to select. Marth, obviously. Jaken. Kane. Nabar. Ogma. Mary. How's your highest strength unit not, uh, not Sigurd? Hmm? <laughs> anyway, um... Bantu... Who else do I have that is worth adding? Caesar didn't seem that good. I mean, he's got good speed, but that strength is kind of dog. Compared to our other... Both our other Myrmidons are slightly better. Actually, I don't think Ogma's that much better. Ogma's only slightly better. Um, wow, there's a lot of mid units here. Let's bring Julian along just so we have some more doors stuff to work with. Where's Bantu's... Bantu? Where's your... Ah? Where's Bantu's stone? Oh, he does have his stone, never mind. Okay, there's also items, so let's do some item management. Steel sword. Deposit. Uh, deposit that. Uh, deposit the javelin. Someone else can take the door key because he doesn't need it. Deposit the Silver Lance. Uh, weapons, I want you to take a Thunder Tome. And then uh, Wendell will take... Weapons, he will take a Fire Tome. Alright. Uh, let's have a look at items. What else is there? Okay, there's... Goddess stone icon, eh, whatever. Slim lance, you don't need that. I was thinking I could give a slim lance to Jaegen, that way maybe he can double. I don't know if he will, but it's worth a shot. Uh, list weapons, where's the steel? Oh, he's got silver as well. And then Ogmar can take the... The Armour Slayer. 
there's two armor slayers. So Nabara will get the other one. Trade. Nah, no, you'll chew actually. I think we're chill with this. Let's get going. Yeah, there is a lot of fucking characters in this one. Oh, is that the White Wings? Princess Minerva, you abandoned your post. Why have you come back? If you even attempt to betray me here, you can forget about Princess Maria's life. I trust you understand this. Yes, I don't plan on opposing you. But please let me see Maria, even for just a short time. She is still just a tired child. It must be hard for her. General, please, please let me see Maria. That is impossible, Princess. Maria is an important hostage. If you're that worried about her, then stop talking and follow your orders. Oh, this horse unit? Who's this guy? General, there's trouble. The rebel army has appeared from the east of Dale Prison. What? How would the rebels know to come here? Damn. Order the dragoons to charge and request for reinforcements from the main squadron. Don't let them enter the prison. Crush them before they get near. And smart. All right, boys, we're starting. Let's let's raid a prison, eh? Okay, that's a cliff. We can't cross that. Where is? There she is, Minerva. All right. Alrighty, so... What's the plan? We have to go around here. Up into this room. Then we have to go all the way around here to open that. Okay. Bit annoying. I wonder if Marth has to be the one. He might have to be the one. Okay, we can have other people go to the other sides then. The mounted units can do that. Now, I know this is indoors, but does that mean people have to dismount? I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. Even if it isn't, I still would want to have the mountain units go around, I think. So it's actually not too much of a difference whether that happens or not. It's a bit shame that uh, there's no prep before. The, the, um, there is no choose positioning before deployment. Just like in Thracia. So now... Yeah, I guess the plan is we just go around and see what happens. Seems like it'll be a pretty chill map. I don't see what could go wrong. Enemy. Okay. Shit's starting off. Normal. Dragonites are a pain, though. Dragonites are a real pain. And the Pegasus is following them. Okay. We're off to a... About as what we expect, sort of thing. There's a door there. Nothing to worry about on that front. And he's stealing stuff. Okay. We'll have to catch that little shit before he becomes a problem. Might need to use the warp staff for that one. But... Yeah, it's looking fine. Let's move... You here. Can anyone hit this house? You can hit this house, just as in your movement. Perfect. Alright. What's the tutorial for this time? Snipers are skilled bow users. If you guess, they let them get close. You could get killed. Oh, are there promoted people here? Oh, there are too. Mmm. Quite a big jump in stats. We shall be careful then. Let's have you move here, Jägen. Alright. Now we're just in the annoying part of the game where we're just moving units. Basically, we're playing genealogy. <laughs> I wonder if this has changed any much in the remake. Because when I think about it, most modern Fire Emblem games aren't don't have stuff like this. 
it's something that's kind of improved with the series, for sure. No, like, I'm trying to think, I don't think there's any, like, modern final game that has a map like this where you, where you have a bunch of downtime at the beginning. Normally, they're designed so you have something to do in the beginning, actually. No matter how small that may be. Or that the in the next phase there will be something important. It's just, I guess, the difference in game design as time's going on. I did hear people say that the pacing of this one's a bit off. I don't know if this is what they mean, or if there's even more to worry about. Okay. So those guys are coming from behind. I have to keep an eye out for them. What has this guy got? Eleven, eleven swords in this game? Okay. And what do you have, sir? You are just a steel guy. Yeah, we have to be careful for that um, very dangerous individual with the... Oh, I forgot to equip the thing. Can I? I wonder if trading's going to work like this. Item, trade. Let's see if I can do this. No, no, not item. Weapon, trade. Let's see if I can do this. So I want to trade his armor slayer. No, I can't do it. Maybe I could. If I trade his armor slayer with my iron, and then trade his killing with the armor slayer, and then trade... The iron back. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. He's now equipped the armor slayer. Okay. At least we know we can do that. We have that option available to us. Hmm, these guys are really going to be a bit of an issue. I might have Bantu deal with them, actually. Just let them go to sicko mode. To be honest, I don't normally play retro games. So this is a bit of an experience. And I think the oldest game I've finished probably is Genealogy of the Holy War. I can't think of anything else. Like that I've actually, like I've played bits of them, but I've never finished one I think. So this is going to be a bit of a first for me now that I think about it. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, it looks like you cannot enter unless you're dismounted. So let's just keep these guys going to the left. Uh, we do want to visit this house though, so we'll do that. We'll see what this tutorial has to say. Be careful of shooters near the northern fort. They can attack them. Oh. Ballista? Near the northern fort. Up here? Shooters. Doesn't... Doesn't say anything about shooters, whatever that is. That's a bit worrying. I guess we'll find out. Pick Cedar moving over here. Alright. Good, that's turn. This is, okay, again, so much downtime, but, yeah. Okay, I should probably think of some shit to talk about, just to fucking fill in the dead space in between these enemy phases. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, oh, combat, combat. Again, okay, he's quaking, he's moving. Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. Oh, my took a lot of damage. Not too happy about that. Especially, the other guy's not going to be in range, but still, that's a lot of damage. The thief's moving. Thief should be dead meat though. Okay, these guys are... Um, wait, is that Minerva? Shit, Minerva's on the move! Oh, fuck. Oh, I need to deal with Minerva somehow. Oh, no, 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 no. That makes things a lot harder. Minerva being on the move definitely changes things. Uh, you need healing. And here we go back to the horror music. <laughs> okay. Now Minerva. Minerva's there. Let's get Marth at least decently close so he can talk to her. 
and then we'll have to move these guys up to handle. Uh, but the problem is now that there's archers as well, who will be a threat. Oh, never mind, they can't move that far. Oh, this should be fine then. This should be more than fine. <laughs> the horror music now fits, yeah, that's true. Uh, does Iron kill here? He's got three defense. Iron is 13. Yeah, that kills. If it doesn't kill, then I'm terrible at maths. Which is... I... I must have misread the attack speed. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious me. We'll just kill you with this guy. The armor slayer can be used here. There should be nothing wrong with that. Wow, there was something wrong with that. I need to actually start reading. <laughs> if I start looking at the screen before making decisions, that could be very beneficial. Oh, wait, no. They can go inside. I pranked myself. I really probably do not want... Um, Minerva, uh, not Minerva, Cedar in there though, because that's just asking for trouble. Wait. Uh, where is, is this Kane or is this Harden? That's Harden. Harden keeps moving. There's not that many people over here. Okay. Seven attack speed. That is much nicer. I keep pressing. <sighs> I got I just gotta slow down. I'm, I think I'm thinking too fast for my own good. Okay, we've got to get this pick regardless, so let's just get that now. So we don't have to deal with it later. Right, nice. That's a good point. Do we know if archers can shoot through walls? Like, I'd assume they can, but I guess you can't take that for granted, can you? They might not be able to. They genuinely might not be able to. Alright. Let's keep these guys at least decently close, in case something goes wrong. But I think we're chill here. We're chill. Alright. Enemy phase can take 10 years as usual. Not as long as genealogy phases, I'll tell you that much. Those things are truly something else. If the worst thing is only in modern games? It probably is. Though I know you can do it in Thracia, so... It would be odd, but I guess, you know... Thracia is very different, so it's quite possible that that was a new thing. It is... Kind of bizarre to see how far the series has grown from here. Like, I'll be very interested in seeing uh, how FE11 compares. Because, like, part of me is thinking, like, how do I feel about this game? Like, would I still want to play it? I'm not sure. I think Fire Emblem is the only series where I've actually gone this far for. Oh, Minerva's all the way over there. Minerva, stop playing hard to get. Are you serious, Minerva? Oh no, that's so annoying. That's really annoying. Okay, um... Oh, that is so fucking annoying. I'm gonna have to deal with that somehow. And then there's these snipers to worry about. As if that wasn't already enough. Mm. Where's Harden? Harden, you can come up here and get this kill, probably. Yeah, oh, you think I have to save the sister first? That's quite possible, actually. It is safer just to go and save the sister, so maybe we should just do that. That is a much safer move. Like, we'll be running away anyway, so maybe that's the plan. But let's act as if it is the plan, and then we'll play off of that. How can we get rid of these... We can't. We can't get rid of the snipers. That is my biggest problem right now, because they are quite bulky individuals. Maybe we can chip this guy down, that could really help. 11 defense. You'd want to go for this, but that's not going to do much damage. Yeah, it's not doing much, so he's not going to be safe. We can use Lena to heal. Yeah, I think that's going to be the plan, just use Lena to heal. We kind of have to go for it. 11 defense. 
this will do 24. So that's 13 damage. It's gonna have to double. Gee, makes so much damage he's gonna be taking. Unless we get a lucky dodge here. No, he crits, which is another luck, but hey, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Then the bar moves up. Okay, these guys are all in range. Actually, not really. This guy's not in range of anybody, but the rest are. That's fine. We can work with this. We can work with this. Pain moves up. <laughs> That's true. We can, we can warp Marf into the cell. That is definitely an option. Huh. Maybe we should just do that. That might be fun. Dun, 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 dun. I did say I was going to bind a 2 times speed, and I never ended up doing that. Ooh, steel. Okay, nice. We'll take that. Uh, we do not need... Honestly, we don't actually need the steel if we've got a silver. Yeah, let's just do that for now. And then we'll have you come in here. Use the slim lance so you actually double. Oh, you don't do much damage though with the double. He's got good crit though. He's got really good crit. He's got that going for him. How much defense do you have, buddy? You don't have much. Oh, I don't like the lack of movement on some of these guys. We have to deal with Minerva somehow. Oof, this is looking kind of dicey. Looking real dicey, in fact. Let's see, uh, who needs healing? I think Cedar needs healing? Uh, both of them will be fine, they're not going to take that much damage from that guy. My bigger problem is, uh, Minerva. Minerva is a much bigger problem right now. Oh shit, he, Minerva's in range of him. Mm, well, this might have to be a reset then. But we'll see. I should have just done the warp, I think. But we'll, whatever, we'll see what happens. We'll fuck around and find out. As we've been known to do. Alright, alright. Just a normal dragon. Mm hmm. It's funny actually, um, I've seen mention of this, the fact that the cup, the last few farm games haven't had any dragon shifting characters. I actually, I guess the DLC for Engage did have that. Oh no, Lena. Is she fucked? No, she's good, she's good. She's chill. She's chill. Nice, Jaegen. Beautiful. I think we're actually going to do the warp strat. We're, I think we're running out of uh, time to reach <laughs> later. Oh, okay. Shit's about to happen. Shit's about to go down. Hopefully Ogma doesn't take too much damage. No, that should be fine unless he gets doubled. He doesn't. That's good. Now, what's this sniper going to do? That's the real threat. This guy is probably going to hit quite hard. Ooh, that's way too much damage. Oh, thank God he doesn't double. Oh. Oh goodness, that was much. That was way too much. That was way too much for me. Uh, okay, so Minerva's now in range of everybody, so we're in trouble. Which means I think we have to do... We have to walk. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's, it's, it's do or die right now, so... And the warp music goes a bit too hard for me literally just warping into a cell. Lena's speed level up is actually super appreciated. Okay. Oh, you're a Lord Marth? He's so handsome. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. Please tell my sister that I'm safe. She will definitely be very happy. Also, I would like to aid you, Lord Marth, by your side. Can I? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have to tell her? Uh-oh. Can anyone tell her, please? 
Moth has to go in- oh. Where- oh, this is gonna be rough. Unless she doesn't attack. If she just doesn't attack, then we- we are chill. But something tells me that isn't the case. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have had him, had him attack. That was not a good idea. Uh-oh. We are in a precarious situation right now. We have to use Excalibur just for safety, I think. Just so we don't get um, attacked by other guys. Alright, alright. Okay, uh, you go over here. Okay, hopefully Minerva's chill. Hopefully she is chill. Uh, now we have to deal with this. Ogma's taken way too much damage. Okay, we have to hope we can kill this guy. So we have 12... 14... Killing Edge is 14. 14 damage, which is 7 damage times 2. That's not a kill. Um... You might be... We have to kill this guy as well. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's... Okay, first we have to do this. See how this goes. See if this does anything. Okay, a crit's not bad. But, like, then what? Actually, to be fair, we can just get rid of these guys here. And then we'll be safe. No, we won't be. Because he'll be able to move and attack. Eh. Well, we will be safe, actually, if Navari gets a crit. Killing, and then Silver- Oh, Silver's 20 damage. So 11 times 2. That's not enough to kill, though. It's still not enough to kill. We have to go for Killing Edge crit. That's our only hope of getting out of this situation. And we don't get the crit. We don't get the crit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh! We're fucked! Do you have Physic? You don't have Physic. The only person who has Physic has already moved. Oh no, 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 no. Eighteen HP. You won't even kill! Oh my god, we have to just hope that he dodges. We actually have to just hope he dodges. Is, this is a bit too rough for my liking. Oof. Losing Ogma would kind of suck. It would really suck. Um. Oh, why don't you have the physics staff? That would have been very appreciated. Wait a minute! <laughs> There's no physics stuff here! Oh! Damn it! Oh no! Well, that would have been really nice if I just had a physics stuff in the convoy. If I had a bit of planning, I would have done that, but uh say I don't have planning. Alright, here we go. Someone gonna die? If these guys are just ignoring, which means we could have just ignored... Huh? What's blood doing? What was that? <laughs> what, what? what was bro doing? What was he cooking? What is this ominous shit with <laughs> Okay, nice. One shot, Bantu. My man. Do, 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 do. Alright. Ogma's dead. Oh my god! He's sick! 
I always knew he was a legend. I always knew Ogma was a legend. See, we didn't even have to do this fucking shit with Marth. But I guess... Okay, we can't... So we can't bail out there. Hmm, hmm. Should we just use the door key? Feels a bit wasteful to use the door key, but hey. We gotta do what we gotta do, and maybe we gotta do it. Uh, let's get the seat out of the way here. Let's have my man do some shopping. Just use it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, why, why wait? This is the armory. What do you want? Bro, let's get another silver lance. I know we haven't used ours at all, but like... Look at all the money we have. Surely there's no harm in getting another one. You're gonna have to choose an item to send to the storage. No, I do not want to continue shopping. You can wait. Yeah, you go shopping. That's true. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a good point. Yeah, don't need to save door keys. And besides, I've got a thief anyway. Oh, and there's door keys here anyway. And they're not that expensive. In fact, I might just... If I want to relax, I can just buy one. And then there we go. That is a bit weird how... FE5 does fucking can soft lock you if you don't buy them. Open that door. Come on, Marth, get out there. My man, you have to walk all the way to, to meet Minerva now. Minerva seems to not be attacking though, which is great. Uh, well. And, okay, Navara is gonna get this kill. Iron. Iron probably enough. It probably isn't enough, actually. Uh, I just gotta read. I gotta just take my time and read. I, the amount of times I've said that, a bit too much. Like, I've probably said it way too many times at this rate, but... Hey, it is what it is. I should have just used the steel. Again, like I said, I just didn't read it. Anyway, that's kill. Cool. Beautiful. Had a steel. No, thank you. Thank you for giving me your steel. Okay, let's visit these houses and see what they have to say. Doom Doom, the world has three red bishops. Pontifex Milhau, Dark Pontifex Garnet, and the legendary Arxage Goto. Where have I heard that name before? But Milo died and now there is nobody who can defeat Garnet. Okay. Cool story. Let's see if that actually is true. Okay, let's just wait. And we'll have you keep moving up. Ogma has been putting in the work, let's just say. That dodge is probably one of the top 10 clutch moments of this playthrough so far. Actually, probably is the most clutch moment. Besides maybe Lena dodging shit. Lena's been dodging a bit too much as well. Kind of goaded. Oh, they don't want to deal with Goto anymore. But Minerva, where are you going? I need to talk to you. Bring, bring. Uh, Minerva just does not want to sit still. Oh, it's a hero. A hero crest? Holy shit, where we can... If we get one of these guys up and going, we can... We can promote. You get to experience one of the great joys of Fire Emblem. Promotion. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright. Oggy Moggy moves up. Oh, these are pillars that actually like block your movement, okay. Well seeing as Marth actually isn't gonna move this way, he's probably gonna go up here. May as well just open this chest. A worm slayer. That's pretty sick. Yeah, only too early promotion. It is a bit weird that they did that, whatever. With eleven swords in one chance, even the thickest of armor can be penetrated with its lightning bolts. That's that's so true, bro. Based. Keep spitting. Let's give one of those eleven swords to somebody. 
No, not Navari. I'm sorry, Navari, but you're... Ah, fuck it. We'll just stick with this for now. Is there anyone up here? I forgot if there's anyone up here. Shit. Oh, I missed the speed up cursor function. Ah, yes, there's a pot. There's a... This guy. One of those. Hmm. Now you shall move up. And your weapon in hand shall be the steel. And then you shall also move up. And just chill. And then you will also chill. Alright, I think we're in a good spot. If I dare say so myself. Who else could be? Actually, it's a hero quest. It's not a master seal, so I only get one choice. Okay, get down there. Attack! Oh, he's got two rage. Hell yeah! Oh, I could have just sat there then. I didn't have to. Beautiful. Vance is kind of correct with it. I don't know when he's gonna untransform though. When he does that, it's kind of it's kind of gonna be dicey. All right, let's go. Like I mentioned before that I never beat a retro game I'm like older than this. I think it's a bit weird to me. Like I've never felt the desire to play the older Zelda games. I haven't even played A Link to the Past for some reason. But Fire Emblem I'm like, yeah, let's go. I'm even willing to consider playing FE1. Consider, not actually play. That's it, I don't really want to touch Gaiden for some reason, so... I guess even I have my limits in this situation. Let's move you up here. Ugh, I think we've put too many units in this one spot, but whatever, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with the consequence of that later. Yeah, like, the way I think I think of Gaiden is that I've heard Valentia is enough of, like, just a better version of it, really. Whereas, from what I've heard, FE12 isn't a good... Kind of butchers this game's story. So, it feels like there's more reason to play this one. But I think this is as far back as I'm kind of willing to go. FE1 looks a bit painful. Alright, so let's see... How much damage can we do to this individual? We've got 3 attack speed, he's got 0. 10 damage times 2 in... I think you will be pretty solid here. Like, a Valentia is already quite a chunky game. And that's with all of its quality of life improvements. So... That's my logic there for not really wanting to try it. Which I think is consistent. Oh, fuck. I accidentally moved you up there like that. Ah, oh, it should be fine. You'll do with it. Alright, I think let's go on to the enemy phase. It is a bit like freaky to think that I've only really got a couple front games left and then I'm done. Oh, she's coming to meet me! Oh, dude, what a go. Hey Minerva, what's up? Greetings, Prince Math. I am Minerva of Met Macedon. Thank you for rescuing Mario. We were on opposing sides in the past, but now we no longer need to be enemies. My brother Michaelis led the majority of Met Macedon to side with the Delunian Empire. He was also the cause of my father's death. If possible, I wanted to feed him with my own hands. Also, please help me rescue my subordinates. They are the three sisters, Pala, Katria, and Est of the White Wings. The Delunian Empire feared they would rebel, so they separated them from my side. But if they knew I was still alive, they would come back for me. The citizens of Macedon are suffering under the Looney Empire. Please let us fight together with your highness. Book 2's story was already strange. That's fair then. But from what I understand, the inclusion of a... Uh, a player insert character deepened it a bit. But I guess I'll find out when I play it for myself. Which I do intend on doing, of course. Yes, yeah, so I think the only Fire Emblem games I haven't beaten 
Uh, FE1, FE2, FE3, I haven't finished FE5 yet, FE11 and FE12, that's it. Actually, I guess I never actually, I've never actually finished Revelation, but I, I think I know my piece on that game. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, oh, she has fantastic defense. Her attack speed's pretty bad, though. Her attack speed is, in fact, quite awful. I think she still lives, though. I don't think it's a problem for her. Right? Because she's got 12 defense, so she's only going to take 3 damage from him. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's do some javelin hits him. But there are... It's so weird. Like, I want to consolidate all my thoughts in all the Prime games. Then I have to go play, replay a few of them. I think I... Well, actually, not a few of them. Just two. I need to replay Gaiden, and I need to replay... Not Gaiden. Valentia. I'm not playing Gaiden. <laughs> and I need to replay uh, Three Houses. But those are both quite long, tedious games. Uh, and then first I've got to finish all this shit, so... Maybe by maybe by next year, <laughs> I will have consolidated all my thoughts on Fire Emblem games. And hopefully, I will have stopped procrastinating and actually made a video on it. Uh, let's see, 11 damage, free, that's a kill. Jaegen's not even playable in book 2? Bro got too old. He actually fell off this time. Alright, Tudor gets XP, which is what I wanted, and now you. I guess I'll give Harden this kill. There's also this guy to deal with, so... Hmm. Oh, Jaegen's way too low. Wait a minute, what are you doing, brother? I should be careful. Actually, all of these guys are a bit too low. What am I doing? Oh, Bantu needs to move. Oh fuck, I have to do this. Quality of life in, in these games is definitely sorely missed. I miss enemy ranges not being highlighted already. God, I've come to value that so much. Alright, let's see how much damage. Yeah, she's safe. He dodged, that's okay, we can deal with that. Player. Man, that crit, come on. Ogma, if you get this kill, don't forget that you could you could promote from this. Okay, Ogma. Okay. We ain't doing it. We ain't we ain't doing it apparently. Wait, is Minerva actually a shit unit? Why does she have so like low low level? Such a low level. It's a bit worrying. I was hoping I'd get a, a real solid one. Ah, uh, let's go with the Iron Sword. He's got a decent amount of crit. This could be a bit dicey. Wait, he doubles. Oh, shit. No, she's good? Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'd really hate it if they weren't. I like my flyings after all. I'm a big flyer simp, as if that wasn't apparent in the every Fire Emblem game I've played on the stream. Constantly favorite, favoriting flyers. Alright. Maybe we give this kill to Navari. With the killing edge? Well, if we just use the silver, we get the kill regardless, so let's just do that. Alright. Hero Crist. We've got a Hero Crist. Thank goodness we got the Hero Crist. Alright. Speak? Maybe you can talk to your friend? No? If only more games should take us. They've been really weird on the daggers lately. I say lately, I think they've always been a bit weird on them. It's like they can't decide what to do with them. 
Which is fair, I guess. They are a bit weird. They are a bit weird. Uh, let's, I want Minerva to have a bit more movement, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, take? Take a silver and a... Do we have a slim? Silver and an iron lance is probably what we need. Alright, you wait there, and then you go next to him, and that way you should have enough movement to reach that guy. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Do, 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 do. I, I like Engage's idea with daggers as well. I also like Fates's, but Fates seems a bit more broken on the dagger side, because... I don't know, I, I like Fates and Engage's idea with daggers. I think they're very interesting. I think Fates is just a bit too strong with the daggers. Engage's one is pretty clever, but... I don't know, I haven't because I haven't played Engage... in... like, eight months? I don't know how the meta has changed with, uh... stuff like daggers. I wonder if they're still popular. Oh gosh, see, this is, this is the boring part of this game. We now have to wait for Marth... to get all the way over there. Okay, come on, Marth. Get, get going. Get moving. And we'll give Minerva this kill. Iron. Though, um, if you're talking about fates and engage, since both of those have been mentioned, because those are currently, like, in my opinion, the best gameplay. Which is not a hot take at all. That is the most tepid, cold take in existence. Most people will, will say that. But I think they're very, very different in their approaches. I prefer Engage a bit more because it's a bit more freeform. When I play Fates, I feel like I'm trash and that, like, I'm just trash. When I play Engage, I feel like I'm trash but I have some broken shit that I can use to get myself out of it. I think Engage is easier. In that sense as well, it gives you a lot more tools. But I also just think the difficulty is more fun in Engage. But they both have so many interesting mechanics. I think the big one when I think of Fates is the pair up. That might be like one of my favourite uh, mechanics in any fight in the game. Fates pair up. Just when you use Fates pair up properly, like especially the attack dance shit, you feel so good. When you position units to get the most benefit, you know, you start getting XP for weapons and stuff and getting building support. It's a shame Fates' story is such a mess. <laughs> because uh, when you when you forget about its context, the game is really like tight. But when I'm evaluating a game like that, I, I look at the whole picture. I think Conquest has, in terms of gameplay specifically, the best uh, support system from a risk to reward standpoint. There is like long-term goals and short-term uh, goals that you have to meet with that sort of system. And I think it balances them really well. Same with the child units. I think, like, you know, when you make a pairing, if you intend on using that child, you gotta make sure the pairing is actually good for the child. You gotta make sure the pairing is actually good for the parents as well, though. You gotta make sure that they can actually get that pairing well. Does it benefit them? Is there gonna be a hassle? Like, if I'm pairing Camilla with someone, am I, am I shackling Camilla? Cam Camilla? Am I making her worse because she has to sit next to this guy? for however long. I think those sort of uh, uh, trade-offs are very interesting. Whereas I think in Engage, supports are just kind of there. They don't feel as integral to the gameplay. But the problem is, uh, I think Conquest suffers a lot more from the fact that my go-to response is just to ignore the supports. Even though, actually, I don't mind Conquest's characters, I think they're kind of fun. 
Like, if you put that system in, like, a really rich story, you'd be onto some real killer shit. It's a bit of a shame that they haven't revisited those mechanics since. Anything else I have to do on this map? No, nothing else. We're just doing math while shooting this shit. Alright, let's see. You're all useless. In that case, let me personally take care of them. Die, rebels. Yeah. It's a bit hard to fucking do some emotive voice acting. Or attempt to do some amateurish voice acting. What? No damage? Okay, this is kind of inappropriate, but Snarkov's portrait is low-key hot, not gonna lie. <laughs> I get you, I get you, I hear that. I feel that. See, Engage also, like, here's the Engage story is also, let's be real, bottom of the barrel in terms of the Fire Emblem. But I enjoy it. So, like, compared to Fate, where I, can't, I just don't like the story at all. It's an interesting... Like, that's going to be different strokes for different blokes, sort of thing. There's a lot of people who feel the opposite. I've, I've seen the opinion that some people say... What's the worst? That's what's one speech. Some people say that at least Fate's tried something. Oh, wait, Marth is about to die. Oh, good thing I didn't move him in. Whereas my opinion is kind of the opposite. <laughs> For that situation? Yeah, well, that's true. You can just press the skip button. That's what I do when I play Conquest, but... I think Fire Emblem's at its best when the story is also good. Because I think it is a very interesting way to uh, do storytelling. It's Fire Emblem. That's why I'm so fascinated by the Kaga games. That's kind of his whole thing. He loves that shit so much. Oh, where's Ogma? This Ogma? Yeah, Ogma, you need to take that Leaven Sword. Who has the Leaven Sword? You have the Leaven Sword. Um. Press the skip button and watch a YouTube channel like yours. I'm not sure what you mean by that. But I'm gonna just take it on the chin. Fate's story feels like a draft that was never revised at all. I I think a big problem with Fate's story is just Corrin, honestly. I don't know. I don't think Fate... Look, I think my opinion of Fate's story is more negative just because of where I was when I played Fate and then uh, kind of became negative towards it. I think if I played Fate now, I probably wouldn't be bothered by the story as much. Because that's how I was with Engage. Whoa! Good thing we kept moving. Look, let me put it this way. I played Fates when I was a teenager. I really, really thought it was like the coolest shit. But then you'd go online and people would just shit talking the story. And then... At first I was, I was probably more defensive. But then I was that type of teenager where I was trying to be all, you know, sophisticated about my tastes. So I was like, yeah, actually, you know what, this game is kind of shit. Now, looking back, I actually still agree <laughs> that I don't really like Fates of Story. But I think, with Engage, I had matured a lot, to the point where I'd say, eh, so what if it's not the best story? I'm having a good time. I do find it quite funny just to, like, divorce yourself from discourse regarding games. Because, God, some people, they get way too worked up about it. The approach I'm trying to take is, look, we're all going to like different shit, yeah? I just want to try and, uh, first things first, understand what I like and why I like it, and then try and understand what other people like and why they like it. Because I think that's the fun part. Alright, let's see with Marth. He's got 7 defense, 21 attack. Uh, do some simple maths. That's 14 damage. He will live that because he has enough attack speed. And then we'll have him counter attack 
with the rapier. Okay, let's wait. And then Ogma, after Ogma gets healed, who she has been already. You dislike three houses because of the fandom drama alone? Yeah, I understand that. I think, if anything, the only thing... The three houses for me... Ooh, whoa, Moth Chill, bro! <laughs> Moth needs to chill! I was trying to give that kill to somebody else! Oh my god! The Artean Knights are strong. So strong. <laughs> That's right, I guess we are. What the fuck was that? Like, I perfectly understand that as well. See, it's, it's weird, like, things like that can change how we feel about a game. And that's still completely valid. Like, before... Here's a good example, I guess. Well, not a good example, but here's a little anecdote. My thought, uh, when it comes to like thinking about like how I feel about farm games, is a big thing I'm like asking myself constantly is, if I had to pick a favorite, what would it be? And I have no idea. That, that's the weird thing to me. It's like I don't know because before, I would have said Three Houses because for all its faults, I genuinely love that game. But I've played more Fire Emblem since then, so I don't know how much it holds up to me anymore. Like now, I'd be saying I'd probably be more likely to say Path of Radiance, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they stack to me. Oh, it's uh, Nina, Prince Muff. Do you know about Arcanea's Archbishop Melo? Yes, the great bishop who protected Arcanea with his Orator. He died in battle against the Luna's army. Alan, sorry, the Dark Pontifex Garnet. Yes, well, the bishop had a daughter called Linda. That child inherited the Orator. Is it Linda or is it Lind? However, after Miloa died, Linda disappeared, and her whereabouts are unknown. I heard she was sold to the slave market. She must be very sad right now. Martha, I beg of you, please find Linda for me. And protect her, in place of the deceased Bishop Miloa. Alright. Yeah, there was some weird-ass an anonymity towards Engage. After we do the story segment, I'll talk about my dreams with that. After many long battles, the allied army led by Marth finally caught sight of Nina's homeland of Arcanea, Nina's Arcanea. Called the Thousand Year Palace, the, capital, the golden capital of Pales is situated just across the mountains. Many of its treasures have been taken, and there are many imprisoned soldiers. Marth's long journey has finally reached one of its fateful destinations. Oh my god! I think I've seen this map before. Oh my lord. No! There are ballistas in this game? It's fucking over! <laughs> it is so over. It doesn't even say their range! That's what they meant when they said the Northern Fort. Oh god, there's an arena. Oh no. What are these guys doing here? What are these goons? What? Oh right, this is gonna be a map. This is a real fucking... This is gonna be a doozy of a map. Where's Minerva? I think this is our best squad. Mario is just there because healing could be useful. What does the speed ring do? Does it say? Increase the speed by five? Ooh, that's quite huge. Maybe we give that to Minerva.
Because I think Minerva's speed isn't the best. Oh no, her speed's actually kind of alright. Isn't it? Wait, her speed's actually really good. Maybe not really good. Wait, am I looking at speed or my skill? Looking at skill. Yeah, it looks like there's no really needed candidates for it right now. Minerva seems fine, in fact. So we'll chill. Um. That's true. It could be better. Hmm. Yeah, it could be better. That, that is a very compelling argument. I'm intrigued. All right, let's um, let's just go with this. Dot. Nina, we'll be able to see Pels very soon. It must hold such painful memories for you. <sighs> the fall of Pels, I can still see it in my mind's eyes. So many people were killed. The royals were all taken to the castle gate and executed in public as a warning to everyone. After managing to escape, I turned back to see father and mother, but they were no longer what they used to be. It brought such a terrible shock to me. I wanted to cry, but nothing came out. All I felt was sorrow and regret, but that was already in the past. Now is not the time to be reminiscing. Go, Marth, to the streets where I was born, to Arcanae's royal capital of Pales. Then what's this? Seize the castle. Yes, I assume that was the case, but... Does it say what range he is? I think our only option is to fuck around and find out, which is, uh, terrifying. Yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, wow, that is, that's, that is terrifying. Okay, let's deal with these guys. Because there's a village here. And I want to see what's inside that village. So, which means Marth has to go there as well. Regardless, we have to walk around, don't we? We have to walk all the way up there. Oh. Wow, they're really making us go for it this time. Well, as we're doing this, may as well talk about what I was going to talk about. I do find it funny how... How much hate Engage got. Like, it does feel like an unnecessary amount of hate. Like, because to me, there's a difference between... Having a normal discussion where it's like, yes, Engage's story is quite disappointing. It's a bit of a shame they didn't try and do something great with it. And then, but other people are like, really, really upset about it. And I think there's a lot of generalization. Like, people go, oh, it's the Free Houses fans. And I think a thing that really adds to that is the fact that because Free Houses is so popular, a large majority of the current Fire Emblem fan base probably found the series through Free Houses. Which, in a sense, maybe didn't give them... Like, if you think of everyone else in the series, they've probably got a more... More nuanced... Only slightly more nuanced, really. Uh, approach to the fandom. There's a lot of players who just like the gameplay. There's a lot of people who have, you know, experienced the ups and downs of Fire Emblem. And to me, like, a benefit... Oh, not a benefit, a strength of the series is that it never sticks to one thing. It's always defining, redefining itself. Oh, they have a dragon, I just realized. That's cool. Like, then, there's never a consistent formula for a Fire Emblem game. And I think the one time they tried to do that, it backfired on them. Well, not backfired, but, like, that was that was kind of Fates. Fates kind of tried to redo Awakenings sort of success. But then after that, they just thought, no, let's do something different. Which was, well, first of all, Valentia, but then Three Houses, which was quite different. And let's not forget, every Fire Emblem game gets absolutely shut. It just depends on who's the current vocal majority. <laughs> You're gonna find people complaining about everything. People still give every house a shit. They've always given free, free house a shit since launch. It's just now the three houses people are the ones throwing shit. Well, not even just the three houses. The bunch of people. 
Yeah, Fates did sell, like, Fates sold good, it just didn't have a good perception in the fan base. But what I mean by that, I guess, is what I'm saying is, it took what Awakening did, and it kind of just tried to justify it in, like, weird, like again, the child units. Let's go with the child units. Awakening justifies the child units in the story. Fates doesn't. That sort of shit. Uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, 13, 10, wait, 13, 6. Well, Fates does justify it. It's just this justification is a bit stupid. Like that. Uh, what are we looking at? 13 attack. Yeah, this is um, very safe for you, actually. I think you can very safely go there and, and just start cleaning. Let's check to make sure there. Easy bake up and child units. Yeah, we'll put them in the baby making realm and then they will come out fully fledged adults that are ready to fight in war. Except not really, sometimes as well, which is a bit bizarre, but hey. And I think like a big thing is that I came to appreciate playing Conquest because Conquest is a fun game. So I was like, you know what, as long as the game is decently fun. Yeah, the... <laughs> oh my god, the baby... I don't want to get into that. Oh my god, <laughs> baby ropes. Here's the thing, whereas like... Engage's story is like boring bad. Fate's story to me is frustrating. To some people it might be entertaining bad. But for me personally, that's just frustrating bad. But again, that's just maybe because of the environment I got introduced to it. Maybe if I played it now, like if it was my first time playing Fate's Conquest, maybe I'd be laughing my ass off, being like, what the fuck are they doing? But now I'm just like, laughing, but also like, oh my god, this shit's so stupid. That's my reaction to that. <laughs> but I think at the end of the day, people do need to just chill. They are just video games. <laughs> After all. And you're not going to like every game out there. I don't know. I've tried to- I've been trying to understand how I feel about video games more and more. That's why, again, I'm going to keep saying this, trying to manifest my motivation. I intend on fucking, eventually, making videos about how I felt about each final game. No matter how weird or, like, small my thoughts may be, I want to, uh, understand what I like in these games, what I don't like, and so on and so forth. I think another thing that changed the way I viewed this sort of shit was uh, playing Xenoblade 3. Because I really, really, really liked that game. But I didn't like the way it ended. I'm not going to say anything about the ending or whatever. I'd prefer to keep that, like, spoilered, tucked away for people who haven't experienced it. Well, I didn't like the ending. I also just didn't like the... I felt like the quality dipped a bit towards the end. And I, I kind of felt torn. I was like, wow, this would have probably been my favourite game of all time. And I'm like, how do I feel about it now? I don't know. And it kind of made me accept that... It kind of made me accept that uh, no game's perfect. And even the ones that are perfect, I can talk about what they didn't do. So that's my approach. Like, when I'm, when I'm going to talk about, hopefully, eventually, Fire Emblem 7... Here, let's just, like, spill the beans. I don't have the best opinion of FE7. I liked it, but I'm kind of just like, I don't really see much that separates it from other Fire Emblem games to me. But I can see why other people like it. But that's just my personal taste. There are like a billion video games, try find something that makes you instead of insulting people. Yeah, makes you happy instead of insulting people who like it. Yeah, I agree. Like, you don't need to get too upset about it. Obviously, you can talk about it. And I don't mind if you're a bit colourful, if you're frustrated. But, like, some people do get a bit worked up about it. I oh shit, we've let into range. Oh no. No, it's Maria, it's even worse. Bro, she is dead. Oh, thank god, they have good speed. 
<laughs> but at the same time, I don't mind people shitting on a game. But like, they gotta do it in a tasteful manner. Like my favorite uh, video game critic is uh, Yahtzee, Yahtzee Croshaw, uh, of Zero Punctuation fame. We probably have quite different tastes in like video games. I don't, I don't think he's much of a Fire Emblem guy, but I enjoy his writing style, even if he's very crude and he shits on some games. And sometimes that could be a game I like, but it's fun to hear his thoughts on it because I value his input on game design. So I don't mind, but I, I, I think when people are just being obviously rage baity, that's when it kind of annoys me. Yeah, there are some weird takes about uh, three houses and engage discourse. It's just so weird. My favorite thing is people saying, um, "Yeah, insult companies, not people." Like he's never insulting the people. Well, sometimes maybe if he's got a bone to pick with them personally, but usually not. I don't think he does. Oh shit! I actually waited. I think it's also an important thing to, like, not get caught up on game reviews, because game reviews are kind of fucking pointless. I mean, like, like uh, stuff like IGN and shit. Because, I mean, this has been put to death, right? But, you're seeing, like, one person from a company give a number, and then that has to be compared to other numbers from other people in the same company. It's like, so what if IGN gave uh, Fire Emblem Awakening like a number? Didn't it give like, let's put the shit up. It's a bit of a ring. Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. Let's have a look at IGN's Fire Emblem Awakening rating. 9.6 out of 10. Yeah? That's probably from one person in the company, if I understand this correctly. That could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. But... What's the point of comparing that number to other numbers that they've put out when it's not even the same person? But when it comes to like individual critics, that's what I think is way more interesting. But then there's a consistency there. Like the two I usually revolve around are Donkey and Yahtzee. Those are the ones that I found enjoyable to watch. And again, we're not going to see eye to eye on a lot of things, but I at least... I'm interacting with... Not, uh, I'm not trying to get validation for a game. Uh, it's like you're trying to understand how other people feel about a game. And I think that's, in that sense, you're adding to the conversation as opposed to just whatever happens. Okay. If the too much water meme is a bit like, ugh, overdone. But that's the Pokemon fan base for you, I guess. Like there was this, it's like the whole thing with numbers. No, like I don't, I don't like doing number ratings. I know that to some people that might be a bit pretentious, but I truly believe like they're pointless. Like I can't objectively give you a rating on my Fire Emblem games even, and those are the games I've played the most. I can't objectively tell you what I think is the, like I can't give a. Uh, how can I? Do? Oh shit! I actually dismounted him. I'm not thinking straight. I should probably yap a bit less. Like, to me, what's a 10 out of 10 final game? I can't think of one. Like, right now, my favorite final game is probably Path of Radiance. And I'm gonna, when I say, when I talk about Path of Radiance, I adore the story. It does leave some loose ends that have to be tied by Radiant Dawn. Like, let's talk about, like, that's an issue, maybe, not really, though. And then, but to me, the big thing with um, Path of Radiance is the gameplay is, is a bit stale compared to other entries in the series. But that's compared to other entries in the series. Yeah, like game quality is subjective and... Yeah, like if I ever... Like this is again, I'm putting the cart before the horse here. I didn't even realize there were enemies up there. Oh fuck, I've entered again, haven't I? Dude, I am an expert at entering. Again, like I intend to talk about my opinion on the final games. And eventually, I might, if, if, I, if I ever get to, if I continue doing this, 
and I do every fire emblem game. I'd probably want to do a tier list for fun. <laughs> but if I were to make a tier list on fire emblem games, that would be how I feel about those games at that point in time. It's not an objective ranking. It's not even objectively how I feel. It's just how I think I feel about those games at that time. Skill, luck, weapon. Nice. I don't know. Game discourse is... I think super interesting. I'm not very eloquent at this right now. Because I haven't uh, practiced enough. Which is why I want to do it more. But I think Fire Emblem as a series... I'll, I'll repeat this point that I've said multiple times. It's interesting because it encourages all everyone to have different experiences with the games. And I think us sharing those experiences is what makes it quite fulfilling as a fan base. When people are having unit discussions and stuff, as long as they're not getting too heated on, like, there was that shit with the efficiency stuff, like... At the end of the day, who cares? Maybe, like, sometimes it is fun to have a discussion like that. Let's just not get too serious about it. And I say that, but even in the efficiency, like, discussion thing, there was people doing it in good faith, you know? Having a genuine, like, fun discussion. But then some people just get a bit too annoyed by that sort of thing, or some people get too worked up. And then you get to the problem where, oh, that's generalizing, you know? You don't want to generalize. But it's very easy to generalize, just because you don't see a, a face behind the masses. The internet is chaos news is very rare. Yeah, but it's because of that very fact. It's like if you look at Twitter, you're looking at, like people like to talk about Twitter discourse, but you're going to see a bunch of contradictory opinions because it's a bunch of people with different opinions. So if you try and actually get something valuable out of that, you're going to have a rough time. Ooh! Holy shit! I've seen this guy before. Prince Marth, I'm George, Sniper of Arcanea. After the Battle of Pales, I was captured by the Julian Empire, but I managed to escape. When you agreed to protect Nina, I was, ready, I was already here waiting for you. From now on, I will use my silver bow to aid the liberation of my homeland. Holy shit, he's a sniper! Oh my god, there's so many towns to visit here. Let's have a look. I think at the end of the day, the internet chaos is fun to deal with, but as long as everyone just treats it in a bit of a healthy way, you know? At the end of the day, I understand that we're never gonna... <laughs> you're never gonna get anything super deep from just the, the cesspool of the internet. But when you go talk to individual people, that's when the shit really gets interesting. Let's see what this guy can do. How much strength does he have? Oh my god! Bro's got stats. Oh, it's because he's got a silver bow, I guess. George is very proud of his silver bow, indeed. Um, everyone's kind of low here, I don't really like this. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I stop yapping for a second so I can actually think about what I'm doing. Nega needs to chill. You're gonna come up here and get this kill with the silver bow. Now all you would do is that populate this region, and even walking outside is dangerous. Okay. Anything else to say, ma'am? Since ancient times, the Arcanea royal family passed on three special weapons. The Briar Bopathia, the Rock-Crushing Lance Gradivu, and the Mythical Blade Mercurius. Those that carry them will receive the blessing of the deities. Ah, some beautiful lore drops from the towns. Oh. Wait, what she, I thought she was on low HP, or did she dodge? I can't actually tell. 
after I've been yapping. Even in the farm community, you're gonna have different people liking different things. There's a lot of people who like to do like video essays on units specifically, like how good is this unit in this game and stuff. For me, that's never gonna be my sort of thing. But I think the fact that that, that exists is, is amazing. I think that's another th reason I love this fandom. The good parts of the Fire Emblem fandom, I think, are amazing. <laughs> the bad parts, let's not talk about them. But I think if you know how to navigate it, you're in for an amazing time. Torch took 8 damage. Okay. Merit Thunder Wave. Did I say Thunder Wave? Oh. Pokemon Banlock. Don't crit, thank god. Oh, he was gonna be in so much trouble if you crit. Mm. Do, 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 do. The human mind escaped. <laughs> yep. See, Iron Man's about life, you know? They are. Just like life. <laughs> oh god. The yapping has gone too far. We start getting philosophical about Fire Emblem. Village. Do you need a s- huh? 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 Excuse me? Do you need a slave? Right now we only have weakling kids for sale, but we can sell them to you for a cheap price. You are selling children? How dare you? If you want to live, release the children and leave this place at once. The, the Altean army? Uh, help! You must have suffered, but it's alright now. Please return safely to your homes. Why aren't you leaving? I, I no longer have a home to go back to. Uh, huh? You're a girl, but why are you wearing boys' clothes? I'm... Holy shit, no way! It's just like they said! I am Bishop Miller's daughter, Linda. I dressed up as a boy to escape from Garnef. But then I was caught by the slave merchants. Really? So you are Miller's daughter? But you can relax now. Nina has also been worried about you. From now on, we will protect you. So you won't be in danger any longer. <laughs> Lord Marth, I want to fight as well. I have my father's oratome, which he gave me. As long as Nina permits, I can use it. I want to personally defeat Ghana to avenge my father. Yo, let's go. Child unit? <laughs> finally? We're finally, we're playing real fire emblem. We've got... Bro, what is her stat? Strength for one? Wait, luckily the tome is cracked. 21 attack from one strength is insane. Child unit time, let's go. Fire Emblem is the only game where I can say that with a straight face and know that I'm being 100% taken at fa good faith with that one. It's just full of stray kids. Okay, you already told us that. Oh, goodness. I hate war. It always makes women and children weak. You mustn't continue like this. Head back to your lover's side immediately. Okay. To be fair, she enlisted herself, so... I don't know about that one. This place is Arcanae's Norda Town. The army and Vendor have lots of nice goods. Thank you. This is a Vendor. What do you want to do? Oh shit, no, I don't want to buy a Vonry. Ooh, Blizzard Tome? Don't mind if I do, boss. What I find funny is I'm being all high and mighty on internet discourse. But there's going to be times where I'm also just going to be like, Nah, that, that is an incorrect take. <laughs> that is an incorrect take, dog. Uh, we're all going to have our downsides, I think, with that sort of shit. My copium is that I'm, I'm at least self-aware. That's my copium. My favourite uh, one that I can think of recently is... Uh, localization discourse. I love when people get upset about localization. It's just like, okay, do these people actually have a point, or are they, or are they just doing like the kind of weeby thing where they're like, um, it's not true to the source material? And I mention that now, just because looking at some of the translations in this game. Uh, like, there's a lot of people who go, we well, gotta be direct translation, but other people go, you gotta localize it, and that I think the localization tactic is much more. 
not much more correct, but I think it's a better option. Because <laughs> you read the dialogue here, and a lot of it isn't that emotive, or it's just a bit kind of informed, like just straight plain. And part of me wonders, how would the Japanese script have differed in that sense? I think everyone's favourite example, or the one that I think of, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I'm sure some of you have seen it on Twitter or whatever, is that, um, is the Echoes translation versus the localization? And the, the like, the, the straight translation is very boring. Wait, what? Did he just attack me? No, no, he didn't. Okay, never mind. I think I'm just, I'm losing it. I'm talking too much. <laughs> but I'll keep going, because I'm enjoying myself. There's that, uh, I think it's, who is it? it? It's Lucas talking to, uh, there's that one character in Echoes who works under Bakut. He's like that snobby guy. Wolf is level 8, let's go. And it's, he's like arguing with Lucas. And like the direct translation is kind of boring, but the localization went insanely hard. And I think when a localization goes hard, it doesn't matter that it's deviated, because it's getting that emotion over. So yeah, I think that's where the, the, the localization shit happened recently, was Unicorn Overlord. I don't know the situation with that game in particular. And obviously there could be like poor localization jobs, there's poor voice acting jobs, there's poor whatever. That happens. But I think the problem is when this sort of happens, you usually get the, the more weeby defenders. And, and I get it, like I'm, I'm usually going to go sub over dub when watching an anime. But for some reason with games I'm very different. <laughs> Where I'm usually willing to take the dub. Or I prefer, in fact, usually, almost always. Not sure why. A bit of an inconsistency on my part there, I guess, but... It's fun to think about. Yes, yeah, so I don't know what they're happy or with or upset with in the Unicorn Overlord translation. But it just always reminds me of that. Let me find it while we wait for this shit. Oh, never mind. We don't have to wait. Okay, I think I found it. Um, so we'll check that in a second, but first we'll do all this. Did I visit this house? I actually have no rem no recollection. I will just have the, the flyers visit this stuff for now. No person can defend themselves against the breath of a dragon. Ooh, okay, that's good to know. Armor is useless against dragons. There is a dragon up there after all. Once we get to some actual enemy phase, I'm gonna fucking read out this Echo's translation, because this shit goes way too hard. This is terrible. Since Ark and A had failed, this town has become so desolate. Is this directed by one guy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's another one of my favorite things. There'll be like a subreddit post from any community where it's like, guys, what's with all this drama on Twitter? It's just two guys. Twitter will be Twitter. I think engagement-based platforms might be the death of modern society. <laughs> I say that half joking. Because again, like, you know, here I am engaging in an engagement based platform. But when people will just say shit just to get attention, that's when you're gonna get the worst stuff. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, you can go up there in a bar. We have to kill that b ballista immediately. Ballistas are my like most feared thing in any Fire Emblem game. I think Epi-6 and Thracia have scarred me for life. A bit of genealogy as well, because genealogy has some points. Like in Chapter 2 specifically. Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks. That one map part of Chapter 2, but there's just a bunch of ballistas on a cliff. So, like, who am I going to send there? My flyer who's going to get one shot? God, okay, ugh. Painful memory. Anyway. Oh, you're in for, you're in for a great time, Toshas, and you get to chapter two. Chapter two? 
is a is a f it's a funny chapter. That's all I'm gonna say. I I think I've mentioned I, I said this yesterday. Yesterday, I'm pretty sure. I still don't know how I feel about genealogy as a game. Like I know I love it as an overall experience, but as a game, it is a complicated bad thing. I think chapter three. Actually, uh, oh, maybe I'll save this. I need to think about what I'm gonna say. I wanna make sure this makes sense. When I was playing through the first, uh, through the prologue in chapter one of genealogy, I was kind of just going through it and I was just like, eh. But I was kind of like, I don't really. This isn't ticking for me. That's what I was thinking. But then for some reason, I don't know when. I can only assume it was some point at, at the start of chapter three. I just kind of started loving it, and I have no idea why. That is a bizarre thing that I'm never going to understand, I think, for as long as... At least not for... Not until I play the game a couple more times, maybe. i got to really let my, my thoughts stew for that one. There is so much going on with that game that I... But there's something I love about it, so I, I really want to understand it. <laughs> to put it uh, lightly. Ooh, this guy's going to hit hard. I don't... Wait, what the fuck? How do they expect me to... Ah, that's annoying. Okay, let's do this. Your hot take is genealogy you know, story isn't really that good. It's kind of carried by the chapter 5 plot twist. I gotta be real with you. I think if, like... My thing with genealogy is I think the writing isn't that good. I think the overall story is interesting. I just feel like the writing leaves a lot to be designed. And I get, like, how much of that is the fact that I'm reading a English translation of this that's not, like, a localization or whatever. But also, there's just not that much of it. And, I don't know, I feel like genealogy is greater than the sum of its parts. It's not the story, the gameplay, or the writing. It's kind of how all of it kind of mingles together in this weird, like, mess. There's like some like, crazy vision there for gameplay story integration. And it just charms me. But I, I like, that's why I don't think Genealogy is the best Fire Emblem game ever made. Like, to me, it's, I'm like, nah, no way. To me, Genealogy is a very charming game. And I think it's amazing. And I think most Fire Emblem play it, fans owe it to themselves to play it, especially blind. I think if I played that game fully blind, I think it would probably be my favorite Fire Emblem game. I think it would have like destroyed me blind. So like, it kind of upsets me that the spoiler for the chapter five twist is so prevalent. Because if I experienced that fully blind, my god. I think it would have broke me. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't have, though. That's just a guess. Yeah, barbecue jokes. <laughs> like, for me personally, like, I haven't finished Rapia, right so I'm not gonna, like, comment too much on it. But Thracia's writing is way more interesting. In my opinion. It's like really going into depth. And it feels like a real exploration of the world. Is Harden dead? Burn blood flesh. Burn everything. He doesn't double, right? Don't tell me the sniper moves. If the sniper moves, I'm fucking... GG. Goodbye, Harden. You were good while you lasted. I'm sorry, Princess Nina. Oh no. Oh no, Harden's gone. What did I expect? Nothing. I expected fucking nothing. Why did I don't even know? Book two is <laughs> it's never <laughs> Yep, so true.
Wait, wouldn't Merrick die as well? How does this work? Wait, how am I supposed to kill this thing? He's got five res. How much HP does he have? 48. That sniper indirectly saved Arcanea, what a hero. <laughs> 20 damage. That's not a kill. 20 attack. 20 attack. How much HP do you have, Merrick? Oh no, you live, you live, you live. You're fine. Okay, please. Go crazy. Absolute cinema moment. Come on. He dodges! He's sick with it! Do we fear Hardem's kind of a mid-unit, just saying? Wait, who's gonna finish off this kill? Ah, yeah, bet. And there's ballistas right there. Uh oh. I don't think I thought this through. Or I could use the warp staff. I think that's my best option. Like, if I do this, I'm going to be taking so much damage. Maybe the Leaven Sword will do. No, Leaven Sword ain't it. Has to be Killing Edge, maybe? Killing Edge is not going to do damage at all, though. Shit. Shit. We're, we are cooked. Specifically, I am cooked. Not... There is no we. You guys are not responsible for this atrocity. Who is we? <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's... Um... Okay, Killing Edge from Ogma. Please. Ogma, go crazy. Ogma, I need you to do this, bro. Ogma, that's not crazy enough! Marth has the Worm Slayer. We need Marth to get up there. Lena, please, you're the savior of this run right now. Wait a minute. There's gonna be fucking ambush spawns, isn't there? Oh, hell no. This might be a do-over. Forty-one damage. Oh, that's gonna destroy this guy. Oh, it's gonna be a do-over if Mark dies. I mean, like, obviously. But I think we're fine. Dude, why is Mark so cracked? I thought he was shit. King Medius, forgive me. I don't know why I was under the impression that Mark was a terrible unit. Thank God he ain't. Or at least, maybe my one's lucky, I don't know. I do have extraordinary luck sometimes with some of these units, as we've seen. See my strength capped limb. Had a steel, in the heart of the steel. That's Shadow Dragon? Ah. Ah. As for comments on the uh, FE4 plot, that's what I was saying like, when I was talking about FE4 yesterday. I was like, I want them to go in depth. Or I want there to be more going on in that game. I think if they just integrate... Like right now, the way it works is the gameplay is mostly told through the story. If they have more story moments alongside that, I think then you'd be looking at a much more solid experience. In my opinion. Which is not... For what it's worth, is just the opinion of some random guy who knows nothing about making a game and integrating a story into it. So, hey, it is what it is. But I would probably want to play Genealogy a couple more times before I come to a full conclusion on it. Supports would be nice, more character interactions. I think you need a bit more of that political intrigue that the, the manga had, the Osawa manga. 
Like, again, that's one interpretation of it. It's not a perfect interpretation, but I feel like that... Like I said, it felt like it took the canvas of genealogy and did something a bit more with it. And I think that's what it needs. You need something to... to go crazy with it. Not all of them are. Maybe a bit less insets, please. I mean, the, there's so many jokes about it, but it is, like, an important part of the story as well. Like, th th there is one aspect that needs to obviously always remain a bit fucked up. Trying to say spoiler free, I want this just in the off chance that someone out there is pure, hasn't been tainted by spoilers, gets to experience genealogy in its original glory. That would be my goal if I ever talk about genealogy. To lead others to a treasure I cannot possess. A blind playthrough. <laughs> oh, goodness. I think Aerie stays the same. Just don't have him support with Nana. That's, that's all you really need to do, in my opinion. I, I have no idea how, how much Toshes doesn't know or knows. So my hope is that they get a good experience as well. But even if you'd know, if if some if somebody's watching this VOD, hopefully they get a good experience. I don't even know if anyone does. I don't look too much. I don't pay too much attention to the analytics because I try to keep myself from getting discouraged. The VOD watchers rise up. I don't know if this area. I think it is safe. It's hard to tell. Well, actually, more than that, it's like... I don't really know how much a, a view on a live stream correlates to watch time. Okay. Well... We're gonna stop talking about genealogy, then. <laughs> I want to make sure Chapter 5... Uh, oh, God, no. It's too much has been said. Too much has been said. Okay, I hope you have a good experience then. <laughs> I would like you to hopefully have a nice time with it. Oh hey, maybe a terrible time. It'll be your time, that's what matters I guess. No more FE4. Yep, we're gonna discuss something else. FE3, the game I'm currently playing, because we're about to end this chapter. Enemy reinforcements? Thank god. Oh my god, I am actually... I am actually, like, losing it every time I see shit now. Like, I'm just terrified. Th those reinforcements were way too much last time. I guess like, a semi-related thing that would be fair to talk about is that I've been mentioning like blind playthrough, blind playthrough, and the fact that I haven't been able to have one. There is one game where I'm currently having it. It's FE5. And at first I was like following that like, you know, that mecha guide that he made, like the spoiler free guide. But around like chapter 10 I was like, you know what, let's just go all in. Let's experience this game as Kaga intended and see how much see what it does to me. Because then I think the story moments will hit harder, the the gameplay, story integration will hit harder. I think there's a lot of fear around playing games blind. That sucks. I mean, it makes sense. I think we talked about this ages ago. But, yeah, obviously you'd want to make sure, if you don't have much time to play a game, you'd want to make sure you have a good experience, but... I feel like most experiences are going to be good experiences with, with, with these sort of games, no matter what. After Thracia, this is probably the game I know the least about. So I'm glad I'm... I know, like, some stuff. But not that much, so let's see. Let's see what keeps happening. See, I haven't played up to chapter 20, so I'm not going to... 
I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm gonna assume that was your mistake and not like a story beat. Nina, this is Pale's castle. No, at last, thanks. It's so great, I have finally returned. But there were there should still be many captive knights in the castle. I really want to help them. I understand. The enemy's reinforcements haven't come yet. We'll charge into the castle. Yes, let's go. I will say one thing. Which chapter in FE5 am I up? I forgot the number. Um, all I'll say is... Uh, I'll describe the map. There's a church in the middle of two mountain ranges. And I have to choose to go to the left or the right. The many small kingdoms of this region were unified. United to become the Holy Kingdom of Arcanea over 600 years ago. The founder, Adra I, obtained the three weapons from the deities and fought a holy war to unite the continent. From then on, the kingdom of Arcanea became known as the Holy Kingdom protected by the deities and the royal family. Uh, the royal family were deeply respected. Recently, six kingdoms became independent, which also thanks to the help of Arcanea. Right now, Prince Marth makes his first steps into the ground of the holy capital of Pan Pales. Which is, uh, I think, like, Pavis was in the middle of doing it. FE5 blind run, which I think is commendable. I decided to go to the right, that's all I'll say. And I'm not gonna have any input from other people as to why I'm doing that. I'm just gonna go with it. I've decided to let whatever happens, happens. That is... I'll say, FE5 is the game where I've let the most units die. Mainly because I'm like... Mainly because I've been like, I, I can't play this chapter again, I need to just keep going. <laughs> so if I miss a guiding chapter, if I miss a unit, I'm just going to let that go on the chin. And then when I play it the second time around, it'll be give me something interesting to do. That's what I've decided to, to treat it as. Because I think I will play the second time around. I, I do think I am quite charmed by that game. Also, what the fuck is this map? It is huge. It is huge and we have no um, mobility. What is this? I can't even tell what I'm looking at anymore. Oh, Rapier. Skill. Okay. Luckily there's no Siege Domes. Can't wait for the Siege Domes to pop up. The Ballista scared the shit out of me, so... Are you Siege Domes? Are you Siege Domes? Wait, what did you have? Nothing. A Knight Crest. Good thing my only candidate for that died. Oh shit, I accidentally moved the game. Did not mean to do that. What I meant to do was I just remembered I have to get Harden. Harden, FE3. Oh, what? What? That looks what Harden looks like later? How? I would have never known that. Fire Emblem Heroes did not spoil that for me. Fire Emblem Heroes might be a menace to the FE, FE fandom with the amount of shit it's spoiled, honestly. From now on, the size of the units in the bottom is going to indicate how much it gave a shit about them when they died. Yeah, Faye, Faye has a massive problem with spoilers. Uh, okay, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? So much shit. What is this map? <laughs> Look up FE6 Chapter A. Is that the one where we recruit, uh... I'm pretty sure that's the one where you recruit, uh, Velina. It's not that similar. I think this one looks more annoying. That's good. Never playing FE Heroes is actually a, a positive. I'm, in my humble opinion. For that very reason alone. As well as I Oh, 11 maximum, we've been Ooh, this th th dumping us a bit. 
Okay, this might be troll, but I kind of want to use Linda. Oh, they don't have much... I guess magic tomes just have a lot of might. Oh wait, this is so bad. Wait, I need to, I need to be much more careful with my unit selection. Which is a bit... Okay, the annoying thing right now is that half my units don't have a lot of the strength that they would normally have because they're not mounted. The bar and Ogma are still good. Merrick is still good. Lendo and Bantor are still good. I still need a healer, so I'm still bringing uh, Lena because Lena is my best healer. Dude, we are running out of warps as well. Okay, so far these guys have to come. Jagen is still Jagen. Jagen, Jagen. Um, Cheetah. Cheetah and Minerva both seem still quite good as well. In fact, Minerva is better than Jagen. Right now. Oh, we need Julian. We need, we need chests opened. Wait, Marth can open chests as well, though. Uh, Mari is a bit too squishy for me. I'm going to stick with Lena. Yeah, but doors, that's what I'm thinking. Um, okay, right now we've got this. I'm thinking we can do Jagan, Linda, Sheeta, maybe George. George seems to be quite powerful. Wendell would be quite strong as well, as well as Bantu. But I think I just need all the firepower I can get. I've got to do some item management as well now. Linda. Take the Blizzard Tome, because there is a dragon, which we do have to deal with. Wendell's currently being undeployed, so I'm going to just give uh, Linda all his shit. And I'll give Merrick um, the Fire Tome. Can Linda use staves? Hey, Wendell's so much better than Linda though, isn't he? Isn't she? Isn't he? Yeah, he is so much better. Hey, why is he kind of goaded like that? Uh, I gotta deposit some stuff, in particular these. You can probably do alright with the Killing Edge. Ogma, yes, Jagan. Deposit one of these weapons. Take an Armor Slayer and an Iron. Then Sheeta's gonna take. Not Sheeta, you. List, weapons, iron. George is going to take iron bow. Alright, see how this goes. Oh, we're, wait, who's this? Who the fuck is this? I've never seen this character in my life. Boa? The people in this castle are panicking. What exactly is going on? Hmm, perhaps Nina has brought the Liberation Army here. Huh, really? Then perhaps we can be saved. Uh, but Mida, Midian, we can't get complacent right now. If this, op if this continues, the enemy will decide to finish us off. Without weapons, we're shitting ducks. But Boa, we are finally chased the enemy away from our canina. Even if we die here, we should have no regrets. <laughs> You're still so strong. Still, if you die, our Astram will be very sad. I've heard of that guy before. 
Yes, I just want to see him one last time. That's my final wish. Well, Midian, for that wish, you must endure this to the end. You mustn't give up. Wait a minute. This is literally... Yeah, you're right. This is FE6. If they're going to start attacking them, then it is FE6. Thomas. That is the most fake-ass character that ever... I don't want to talk about that one. I don't want to talk about him either. Okay. I hope they don't start attacking. That's going to be really annoying. Mend. Bogagnon. Okay, let's think about this. Actually, there's not much to think about. We just kind of move in one direction, don't we? Bro, the unit decision takes way too long for me in this game. There's a bunch of thieves here for some reason. No, that's a one-way... That's a one-block wide. Bro, what? Moments like this, the game might be a bit fake. I'm just gonna say it. Where you're just moving units up and down. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. They better not attack. They really better not attack. Wait, you can turn up animations? I just realized that. Oh my god, that was an option the whole time. We don't need to see the healing animation ever again. I really can't believe. Prevent people who rent games from beating. <laughs> They are attacking! Oh, you... Bro, why are they hitting so hard? Okay, we'll just put the shooting units that no one cares about. Like, Dolphin. What's the artist's name? Oh god, that dragon. I've got to be honest, I like the dragons. I love it when they... That was something I really liked about uh, FE6. When when a dragon came up, you were like, fuck. You know, we gotta... We gotta, we gotta be careful. And then also, the, like, the legendary weapons that you have to protect were also your best solution to the dragons, so... I just felt... I just like that a lot. I like when Fire Emblem games give you strong weapons that you have to, like, use throughout the run. I think it also adds to like the world building aspect of it, you know? Like, in FE6 those are important weapons for the game's wall. Um, yeah, you feel it, because when shit's about to hit the fan you're like, send Durandal in, send whoever's got Durandal in, we're gonna go crazy. I think that is part of what, uh... You know, your FE6 dragon is a chicken, yeah. That's true, that is true. <laughs> they, they did troll a bit with that one. Actually, I, I say that, but I like Faye a lot. Did Faye die for me? Or did I reset? I think I had to reset for Faye so I could go the true ending. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Linda, keep moving. Do I have any head cannons of the Telgius characters? 
You mean like, like what? Do I ship Ike with or whatever? <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of when I hear Telia's head cannon. No guys, Ike is obviously asexual? Or maybe he's, maybe he's into men? Maybe he's not? Either way, I think it's very funny, and I respect it. But shipping can get a bit crazy, sometimes we've got to chill. Shipping wars are a bit too insane for me. Do I have any head I can really think of what I would best describe as a head cannon in, for me in regards to that. Hmm. I would like to. I don't know why, for some reason, one thing I think of is I'd like to think Sanaki and Makaya hang out a bunch. Uh, I don't know, that, that's that's the one thing that... That's true, it, they don't have to be that shipping. I'd like to think... They get to spend some quality time together. Just in case that... Again, we'll keep that spoiler free, but... <laughs> I, Heroes did that, I guess. They have that ult for their, their duo unit. I guess that's what Heroes good for. Just a bit of fun after the games. Da, da, da. Dude, this archer, whatever his name is, he's dead. He is so dead. Thomas? <laughs> Bro, the free stooges here. Archer... Wait, this is literally... like I think they did this exact fucking setup in that FE6 map. That you mentioned. I think it was two Armonites as well. And an archer. With like... Damn. This, the FE6 really was FE1 part 2, eh? Or type times two. FE1 2.0. Oh god. What are you guys got? Steel, steel. We're gonna equip the Leaven Sword and wait. And then you're gonna equip the Armor Slayer and wait. It was a mercenary? Okay. And there was one of those, uh, one of those armor knights though, that was there for sure. I forgot their name. Gwendolyn, was it? Oh, FE6. I actually, uh, don't mind FE6 a fair bit. I think I like it more than FE7, which I don't know if that's a controversial take. It left more of an impression on me. And even though the gameplay was like, you know, sometimes it was being a bit mean to me, it kind of made me feel alive. Sometimes when a fun game just pulls pure bullshit out of its ass, I, I, sometimes that, that that makes me feel something. Maybe I'm a masochist. I don't know. But it, it, it makes me feel alive. When my dancer gets killed by a ballista and I have no choice but to keep going, That, that makes me feel something. <laughs> that makes me feel something. <laughs> oh no, Thomas! Who, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Bro, I cared more about Rad than I did about Thomas. Let's pull this guy out. Mikaelin? Okay. Bu, 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 bu. Ooh, nice dodge. Rudolph's got it in it, but... Okay, let's pull this out. Characters. The list of characters and find the mystery of the emblem. Oh, oh, Ogma's getting a, some action now. Dodge, please, Ogma, please dodge. Ooh, he's cracked with it! Any crits? Right. Album number four. Damn. Put Thomas on top of Rad. Rad did more shit in the playthrough, though. Okay. Marth got that XP. Thank you, Marth. 
I'm not paying full attention, so someone's dying, I'm gonna be very surprised. Uh, color correction, make that saturation go to zero. Yeah, I assumed that was the case. Where have you heard of media before? Okay, these thieves trying to make a run for it with my loot. I'm not gonna stand for, I'm sending Marth down there. Did Marth take damage? No, he didn't. He's just like that. Oggy Moggy, head down. Dude, I can't wait for Ogmog to promote. Why don't I call him that? I don't know. But it, it is what it is, I guess. These archers look like they're trying to start some shit, so I'm gonna be a bit wary of them. Move you. Move Julian. Julian's gonna have to go up there to rescue. Do you have good res? You have decent res. You might be able to stand a bit. Yeah, well, I I, I know Astra, but I don't think I... Uh, I don't... I uh, never used him, so I never saw his epithet. When I think of Astrum, I think of Mercurius, so that, that gets me excited. It feels like we're going to see some good shit coming soon. Alright, let's see what's happening here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, George's got it. George is cracked. I think George is the one who has the... I think he's got Pathia in the in Hero, so... I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't know if he actually has that, or if that's just... He can use it, so I think. Macalidinian armor. Dude, how's Dolph living there? Dolph is... Okay, I had, to, I had to speak, didn't I? Anyway. Oh, George. No, don't die on me, bro. Wait, dude, why is George kind of cracked? Holy, the silver bow goes hard. No wonder he was talking about it so much. Bro knew what he had. And he wasn't afraid to use it. Okay, I don't think both of those mages together can kill... <laughs> Bishops at the end of an Arcanea map when they see someone in low HP. Come on, guys, we gotta get moving. Okay, we're gonna send Oggy in. Now these two are going to be a bit annoying. But I believe in Marth. I can always use the warp staff if I have to, but I don't think I will have to. I think these guys got it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal George. Because he's going to like single-handedly take out this wall whole area. Beautiful. George go crazy with that bow. That silver bow goes hard. Music, again, is going great. But it doesn't have that same uh, craziness that the FE4 soundtrack has. The FE4 soundtrack is like... Might be one of my absolute favourites in the entirety of Fire Emblem. Probably is my favourite, honestly. I can't think of anything like, like that much more. Alright, let's go. In turn. Here we go. McKillen's Ma Ma dead. There's no way this guy lives. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Dolph is probably dead soon as well.
Yep, you're going for a moth, that's okay with me. Moth is literally the goat, so it's it's gonna be fine. How is Moth so good? Dodge, 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 please. Oh no, he's taking a lot of damage though. Moth has taken a lot of damage. Which is a bit annoying because Moth has to go down there and kill these guys as well. well. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe these guys got this. Uh, let's just go with the killing edge. I want to ensure this guy dies. Which might not... Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Nabar. Level 8, strength and speed. Weapon level, maximum HP. Orion... Orion's Bolt. Oh. Oh, Orion's Bolt. Beautiful. Ogma's level 10. It's time to promote. Maybe we don't promote immediately. But I think, well, why not, right? Depends on the game. Honestly, it's so hard to just keep track of which games early promoting is good in. Bores. Do you one shot this guy? 8 attack speed, 13 attack. That's a kill. Uh, I would like to weaken them. I want. I would like Lin to get some kills. Yeah, that's not happening. Elfire? Ooh, Elfire's good. Maybe we just have to have Lin attack anyway. And see what happens. Uh, not Aura, we want... Maybe Thunder? Yeah, that should be safe. There's no damage, but that's okay. But she dodges. Wow, Lin, you're kind of garbage. I didn't want to say it, but you might be trash. To be fair, they are mages, so they're pretty resilient to mages. They resist, they're resilient to each other. Marth, my boy Marth needs some healing, so I'm just going to move him up. Uh, staff, Mend, Mend Marth. Every time it makes that clipping sound, I think the game's out of posh. Like, it's finally had enough of my shit, and it's just like, I'm out. Jaden goes up here. They're gonna rescue those guys. I think this, they should be safe. Dragon Man's down there. I'm very worried about Dragon Man. Okay, let's see what happens. Enemy. Oh god, I should have turned off their animation so I didn't have to watch them die. Oh, McKellen Armor has lived. But you know who won't live? Nof Armor. Dolph, that's his name, sorry. Oh no, Dolph is dead. Nina, please forgive me. Anyway, I'm gonna pre, I'm gonna preemptively download the Callan's photo, cause that bitch is not living. Whoa, he took so much damage. Okay, uh, every time a phase shit happens and you fight, cause sometimes they run out of shit to yap about. Oh my god, this guy is so bulky. 
Oh my god, Lin, this is your chance. You can't reach him. Dude, we're in trouble right now, I think. We're running out of mems as well. This ain't too good. Broken! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why that amused me so much. Okay, Lind, this is your moment. This is your time to shine. If not now, then when? That's what I gotta ask you. Yes, if it, no, I don't. I, I've heard that so many times, but I have no idea what it is. Try to truck for a trying unit migration, impossible. That's true. It's just too long. Okay. Um. So right now the plan is simple. We want Lin to be a good unit. Why? I don't know. McKellen's dead. There we go. This is expected. Let me um. Let me add both of these little goons to the thing. Niner, please forgive me. That's all they say. Okay, let's move this chapter description thing. And then while, um... While George is cleaning up shop, we're just gonna... How are you... I guess you're supposed to save them by just, like, applying the damage to different ones of them. But you could just be like me and not give a shit. To be fair, it's rare. I normally do give a shit. Oh, a bunch of math fleshing out the Arcane story that was on the Satella view. That's cute. That's cool. I should look up that. I wonder if it's still playable. Oh, that's cool as hell. Okay, when we get to FE12, we'll probably get it. Maybe we'll play that in FE12. Okay. Let's see. This boy has three res. 39 HP. Lind, surely your aura destroys him. Does not. But maybe we can get some chip in. With my bro Merrick. Fire does seven times. Let's just see how much damage this does. Oh, it doesn't do much at all. Shit. I'm not smart. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, uh, 31 HP. That's an aura kill. This is your chance, Linda. Make it, make it, this is your moment. You don't have any attack speed. Oh no, you, no you don't. Zero is zero attack speed. What is this? Okay, this doesn't kill, but it should lower them. Oh my god, the stauncher of this guy as he walks across the map. This is truly a terrifying armor knight. Wow, this thing is fucked. He's so tanky. 17 HP. He's got 3 res. Which means we need 20 damage to kill him. Would you have a look at that? That's what the doctor ordered. And nuke this bitch. De Luna. 45 XP. I think someone else probably would have been better off getting that XP. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll talk about that another time. There is the dragon to worry about as well. What I might do is I might make sure this guy has... Okay, this killing edge is about to break. I'll give you the worm slayer. Oh, you don't have much HP left, though, do you? Okay, you need to trade. Oh, uh, what do you need to trade? You need to trade... No, you need to trade, you silly goose. Trade. The Vulnery. Then you're gonna also trade... Oh. Excuse me. You're also gonna trade him the Hero's Crest. 
And you're also going to consume Vulnery. George is going to come in here and finish off this kill. As we've been expecting him to. The Goat George. You can just use the Iron Bow, he doesn't have to go crazy. Ah, just use the Silver Bow, let's get the kill. Has this only been two chapters? Wait, what chapter is this? I haven't updated the thing. This is like chapter 10, isn't it? Or is it chapter 9? I just realised I haven't been updating the... Oh, this is chapter 10. Oh, so we have played... Uh, we are playing three chapters. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely forgot the last chapter even happened. Whatever. Sorry, guys. Um... Door open. You, madam, what do you have? I'm assuming you're using swords, just like all of these guys. And you, you can move up as well. Alright, we're good now. We're Gucci. Not having heals kind of sucks though, so I'm going to try and grab some. Do we have any heals? Besides Physic? No? Okay, we'll just wait for now then. We'll, we'll say Physic until we're desperate. I'm scared of the dragon. I guess we can just ignore him. But at the same time, wouldn't it be epic if we killed him? He does 20 damage. Is that enough to one-shot Lind? Yes, that is. Maybe it's not going to be that epic if we kill him. Maybe I overrated how epic it's going to be. The XP would go crazy. Yeah, that's the thing. It would go crazy. Judgment uh, has left the building, boys. Don't you remember last time what happened? Yes. Which is exactly why I'm going to be a bit smarter this time. Only a bit smarter, because I'm not very smart. Oh god. We're going to stay out of his range. I don't think I can even get to him in time. Like, I, like, not in time, I mean, like, I won't be able to get to him without him getting to me first. Because he's got these pillars surrounding him. It is a fool's errand. It is definitely a fool's errand. Alright. Player. Well, besides this archer, there's not really much else we have to deal with. Can we attack from with the Leaven Sword from here? Yes, we can! Oh, but his damage is quite, quite substantial. Do we just go straight for the... I think it's time. If Bro promotes, he might be able- he might have what it takes. Mainly because I can't open the door. With the Leaven Sword you have 8 attack speed. How much does this guy have? He has 6 attack speed. Yo, I think it's time. Let's do this. Item. Use. Hero crest. Let's fucking go. Holy shit! That lightning is crazy! Ogmas. Heroes. Class has changed. Strength up too. Oh my god, everything's up like crazy. Wait. Dude is cracked out of his mind right now. Okay, where does this guy go? Oh my god, the danger zone is huge. Wait, there's no way we're getting this guy. There's only safe spot. No, he's got one-two range, doesn't he? 
He does have 8 strength, which is a bit weird. That is a bit whack. I will, I will be honest with you there. Wait, no, we can't kill this guy. There's no way we're killing the dragon. Not from there, at least. We have to go from down here. That is the only way he dies, is if it's from down there. Which means we're going to go back to moving around the map for 10 years. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, this will probably be the last uh, map we play for the stream, because I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Uh, besides that, I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't think of anything else to talk about while this fucking... 10 year long player phase it keeps going on. That said, there are we've got so many units right now, but I think these are probably the ones I've selected here are probably my favorites. With the it also maybe Kane as well, but Ooh, that's a lot of damage from the sniper. I think we double now. Holy shit, Ogma! He's crazy now! Did he crit both of those? Wait, he's got 40 crit, what the hell? Wait, doesn't... I'm pretty sure he, uh... Goddess obtained. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We have obtained the Goddess. It's kind of based. Uh, now we have to... Get our... This guy down here. Now, I don't know if, if we have... So we're gonna have to get through him in order to... I, d I doubt he's moving, right? It's a fucking Fire Emblem. It's an old Fire Emblem enemy. He ain't moving. He ain't moving anytime soon. I think in the supply we have somewhere we have a... We have a chest key. Never mind, we'll just wait for Julian. He's right there anyway. Too much characters to move. I'm just gonna move these guys and that's it, honestly. Unfortunately, all my, like, uh, most of my promotion opportunities were killed. Abel and Harden both died. Uh. Anyway. Let's end. Enemy. The enemy. Is the broken up heart pattern on the floor <laughs> I only slightly get that. I think I understand that. I guess I'll fully understand it later. Silver obtained? Let's go! I could do with some silver right now, actually. No, not item, sorry. Change weapons. With good old Marth. Marth, give me that silver. You don't need that shit, brother. Enemy. Relax, I'll handle it. Open this door, boy. This guy goes kind of hard. He's got 22 attack. Who has the most res on my team? Is it Merrick? It's actually Lint. America's more HP. Do you, any of you have res? Cedar does not have res. For some reason. Ogma, not Ogma. This guy is ready to go crazy as well. So, we might be in a good spot. Let's, let's find out. Please don't move. Okay, of course he doesn't move. Who am I kidding? Now we have to see. Five defense. He is very weak on the defense though, I'll tell you that much. 28. Maybe Sheeta can just get this kill. So Sheeta has zero res. Twenty-two attack, zero res, that's twenty-two damage, and she is uh, not healthy enough to live that.
Aura could be kind of hype. But I think she dies. Yeah, she dies. God damn it. I think we've got to do like something like. Oh no, we can't just. Yeah, we have to kill him in one turn. Generic boss fortress have been less ugly than in modern games. Interesting. Interesting analysis. Oh wait, does this guy die? No, he's he's healthy. Okay, we're killing. We, you're getting the kill, Navari. You rebels who oppose Deluna, taste my destructive Bolganone magic. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ogma's not Ogma. Navarre's like, I ain't taking that shit. 70 XP? Based. Don't think you've won. Deluna will not fall. <sighs> Okay, well, he's dead. We send Balloon to the convoy. We start farming with Thunder. We don't do any damage, but we can we can maybe get some XP from this, right? Wait, did you say paralyzed? Oh, I said parried. I was like, what? Paralyzed? We'll get. I guess Minerva and Cheetah will pick these up. Oh, we get the health from the thing now. Go, Minerva. This is yours. And the next one will be Sheeta's. The Luna dodged. Wait, how much speed do these fuckers have? Whoa! Dude, Sheeta ain't messing around either. She's level 9. Oh, she's close to promotion as well. Wait, it's going to be so good. Wait, we've got resistance! Wait, that's huge! It's actually hype! I think we're going to give the rest of that to Sheeta. There is no way we're killing that dragon. I guess we have to, like, attract him to us somehow. How much attack does he have? He has 20 attack and he's a fire dragon. So we need someone with more than 20 HP. Jagan! This is all for the sake of getting Linda that sweet, sweet XP. Dude, imagine how crazy it would be if Linda got the dragon kill. And just to make sure this could happen, Marth is going to be right here waiting for something to go wrong. Yeah, the combat background is quite pretty. This game in general is quite pleasing to the eye. Sometimes it isn't, but most of the time it is. Okay, the spot next to where Minerva is going to be placed right now, that is the danger zone. Let's go, come on, Minerva. Not Minerva, Sheeta. This is good, this is good. Sheeta's gonna get this, and I'll be ready. She'll be ready for promotion. Where's Jagan? There he is, my man Jagan. Alright. This is really a plane with fire right now, especially if reinforcements come, but hey. Hey, buddy, what? You think you can get away that easily? Not happening, bitch. Nice try. Anyway. 
Do 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 do. Okay, no way Jaegen dies, right? Let's just check that again. This guy does 20 attack, which means 20 damage. He's effective against ice dragons. And you have 22 HP, which means you live this. Here he comes, here he comes, let's go! <laughs> everyone, everyone gangster through the dragon doubles. <laughs> when the dragon doubles, it's genuinely over. Five res. He's a five res, he does 20 attack, which is not enough to kill M M Merrick, because Merrick is... You know, he's gonna live. It'd be quite weak, but he will live. Unless he crits. No, he doesn't have crit, but chill. Merrick's level 7. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's be careful, because if we misclick here, she dies. 19. Oh, Aura does more damage. It's not enough to kill, though. We need just a bit more to kill. Oh, no, 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 no. Can Cedar go in there and attack? Cedar could crit, though. Wait, Cedar lives, right? Yeah, she does. 20. Yeah, Cedar lives. Cedar lives. Killing. I can't if I lose Cedar to this, I'm an idiot. Let it be known. Let it be known to the world that I'm a fucking dumbass if I lose Cedar to that. Right now he's on 12 HP. Nineteen damage. Five minus nineteen. That's fourteen damage. This kills. If she misses a ninety-eight, I'm done. Oh, it's a hundred. Thank God. Oh, the XP went way too hard. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. That's. Thank you, Prince Muff. It was all thanks to your help that we could return to Tails. This radiant bow is good path here. It is one of the three weapons passed down by my royal family. Also, there is Mercurius the sword and the Gratifus lance. It seems those two were taken by the enemy. If we could obtain those powerful weapons, your battles would become slightly easier. Yo, let's go, Parthia! Alright. Let's read the story for this, and then we'll check out the new thing. And then we'll hit. Gra, from the very beginning, was an ally of our tale. However, during the battle with Grust, they suddenly sided with the enemy. Because they were ambushed from behind, the Artean army was decimated, and its king, Cornelius, and the Faustian disappeared at Grah. It has already been two years since that tragic day. Marth finally reaches Grah Castle, guarded by the one who drove his father to death, Geo. See, this is an area that um, Effie falls with good at. Like, you get to feel the weight of that journey because you walked it yourself. No matter how annoying that was. <laughs> oh my god. Catria! Power! Oh my god, that's so high. My faves. Astrum? Well, seeing as Midia just talked about how much she wants to meet Astrum, I think we know what we have to do here. It's really annoying having to go and check everybody's things to see who's, uh... Geo. Mm -hmm. See, here's the annoying thing, like, when I'm trying to do this sort of thing... I, it, I, it, like, takes up my full concentration and I can't really talk. <laughs> so the stream ends up being a bit boring for this moment. Silver, silver... Okay. 
Let's select our units first. Ogma, obviously, Navarre. Merrick, Lena. Jagan, Minerva, Linda. Sheeta, George. Uh, Julian gets deployed. Because we need to open doors. And then uh, Media is going to get deployed so we can recruit Astrum, I'm assuming. She is also a paladin, which is fucking amazing. I need one of those. And then we can add one more person. And we got quite a few options, I guess, don't we? Boa seems to be quite powerful. He's got a lot of damage. And I guess... Kane... Oops, excuse me. Kane's also pretty decent. Nine strength is quite cracked. Actually, Kane is quite cracked. Let's put Kane in. And then let's let's do some item management and then we'll go. Um no items there. Oh, item. I like how I said I was gonna use Wolf and now he's uh he's benched. He's benched for good. Even though to be fair, like George is footlocked, so what good is that gonna do? Still. Oh, this is a good point. Some of them might actually have um, items just held onto them. I have to actually check everybody. Oh, that's annoying. Just in case someone's holding on to like a stat booster or something. I, I honestly doubt they are, but hey, you never know. We should also check these guys. Let's deposit the door key. You don't need to be holding that. Deposit rapier. Okay, um... Let's just, let's just deposit everything, fuck it. We'll fix this up. Red units can talk to Marth and become blue automatically? In the remake or just in the generic Shadow Dragon? That's like quality of life. <laughs> it's a maximum quality of life issue. I mean, improvement. Uh, rapier, leaven, silver, steel. Uh, you don't need that killing edge anymore, I'd say. Also deposit the manual. Weapons. Get a fresh killing edge. I wonder if this guy can use... No, he cannot use staves. That's okay. Items. Here we go. Mend. Physic. Beautiful. Uh, list weapons. Can you use the path here? Oh, not yet. Soon you will be able to. Surely, right? List weapons. Javelin. Silver. Uh, let's give you the Rider's Bane and we'll give you... Iron. Midia. You're getting a Javelin. And you're getting a silver. Jagan. You're getting a steel. I think we're in a good spot. If I dare say so myself. Oh no, not you. You're going to take a slim and an iron. Alright, let's save and we'll leave it there for today. Okay, that was a pretty alright stream, I'd say. It's been a bit... I'd say... Well, I mean, we had some eventful deaths, I guess. We had four deaths this chap this stream. But it's mostly just been talking as enemy phase happens. Hopefully that was enjoyable enough for you guys. Probably be a bit more of that next stream as well. Which probably won't be until next week. So until then, take care of yourselves and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.